I'm doing it. It's happening. Uh, something tells me this going here so we can actually cowboy and win. This is gonna be a good move. Look! I play it, and he gets a... Oh! It, he got a brain when I played it. Now don't gray bust me. Oh my god. And now he gets another one! It works! It wasn't a good play, but it worked! What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a huge Giganticus mustache deck and we're building the deck around a glitch. Let me explain to you what the glitch is. I tested this. It does work. If you have your mustache waxer on the field, this will give you one extra brain and gain a health every single time you play a mustache card. So if you have an imposter, it doesn't work on the imposter itself. It comes on the mustache card that comes from the imposter. When imposter dies, it gives you an imp that has the extra mustache quality and has a big goofy mustache on its face. That card, if specifically played into graveyard, activates the ability of mustache waxer twice. Once when played, the mustache waxer will go and gain an extra brain. And then for some reason, when it pops out, it also activates Mustache Waxer and will gain you a second brain that turn. It's this really weird glitch. I, I'm just calling it a glitch because there's no way that it actually makes sense in terms of game mechanics. It's just a programming error, but we are going to be exploiting it today using this huge Giganticus Mustache Graveyard deck. Uh, testing this a little offline, I found the graveyards are actually very good to be sticking anything into it, especially just like Iron Border. If you play Graveyard on one, Iron Border pops out as a you have a turn two four four and if you have even a cooler play which is turn one graveyard turn two headstone carver iron border then the iron border is going to be five five bullseye which is just ridiculous stats for turn two um you have obviously very good environments uh very good superpowers from huge giganticus including two environments especially the ice moon which is going to freeze something and cause strike through in that lane so it's going to be utilized very well both with the graveyard and the natural environments he has from the excavator zombie bouncing things out of the way. Uh, Crimpton LZ is the one who told me about this glitch and also made up this deck. The only difference that I am running uh, is three copies of Backyard well, Bounce instead of three co like copies of Frosty Mustache. I just found the Frosty steps. Mustache just didn't do enough and that the deck needed a lot more removal. Uh, so we are running the uh, Duck Stash, which anyway is a very good card to be putting into Graveyard, because that will protect it. And even if this ends up in an even trade, you're drawing a card, you're gaining an advantage. A huge power, and one of the main ways you're going to be doing a lot of your damage in this deck is going to be the uh, old school combo, which is Graveyard Cowboy. Playing this into a Graveyard Protects at that turn. This will pop out with 4 attack. Because the graveyard gives it one extra attack and it'll do four, move to the next line, keep on doing four, and absolutely demolish them. The very cool thing is that huge uh, terraformer will make you be able to do that combat on that combo on turn three. You're kind of playing this this deck slowly and patiently. You really want your mustache waxer to get a lot of value, okay. so you're gonna wait to establish this on the field until you have a couple of your mustaches you can play with it. Uh, it's very good also to have, as Crimpton LZ pointed out to me, to have Mustache Waxer inside a teleportation station. Uh, that way it just keeps on gaining health and never dies and is giving you a free teleport every single turn. Uh, for finishers, I'm running a couple copies of Shield Crusher Viking. Um, to be a finisher, you can teleport that in maybe after doing the mustache glitch, but the fact that we have teleports means you're going to really be able to utilize uh, the extra... Uh, brains given to you by your mustache waxer either for a smoke bomb to reactivate your graveyard or for a backyard bounce a bonus attack or even later in the game to be teleporting in some of your finishers let's see how the deck does i think there's probably going to be a lot of versions of huge giganticus mustache that maybe will have some advantages over this deck list i think this deck list does work though with the addition of backyard bounce so i'm going to be sticking with this hope you guys enjoy let's get right into the games um, so these games, you play slow and patiently. Well, time for eight games today. If you think this deck will win, six out of eight vote. Yes, five out of eight. I'll be very happy with five out of eight, though. Five out of eight's a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. So you got your waxer. We'll get rid of an excavator since we don't see an environment. Keeping one of these is probably okay. Should I keep Cowboy? Uh, let's look for a little more early game. Oh my gosh, we got bricked with both of our... Shield Crushers. I don't know about Shield Crusher. Probably Blob is just better. But it's okay. La 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 la. 
Uh, I think I will develop Mustache Waxer on one. We can protect it with the freeze. Oh, we got Graveyard. That's awesome. Uh, and that, that will actually make it that we can replay it next turn after we play the Excavator. So that's awesome. What lane would this go on? I guess lane four to play Ranch and Violet. The opponent plays like Twin Sunflower anywhere that's not Heights. We'll uh, maybe develop an environment here. Should I... Should I do this just because it's free? It's like completely free. <laughs> Where should I do it though? Alright, I'll do it here. It makes it less likely from to actually play around Excavator Zombie. Well, since it's just some mystery card. Sometimes I'll actually play around this, so that's good. It doesn't actually gain any stats from the graveyard, but neither does this if we played it in four, so I guess this is better. Bruh. Lame. Noink. So he's running Grave Bounce. That's okay, that's just kind of a dead turn. Now we got Headstone Carver. Alright. Let's... well... <laughs> Should I play around Shrinking Violet? <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get shrinking, so instead of um it does grow that. Instead of Maybe I should have put the headstone cover in the environment and then that here, yeah, that would have made sense. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> I don't know, the five damage usually gets blocked and then goaded, but it's okay. Can we roll up? Uh, yes! Yeah! The five damage went face, it's huge, man. 3 cost 5, 2. Bounce their environment. Huge play. So the opponent used Weed Whack. They're holding some kind of superpower there, right? Ooh, teleporting in Vikings is always good. We have one teleport. I don't have a ton of what to do here. This also, if he go to Fies, it prevents him from playing a 5-drop. If he does play a 5-drop, I'm just going to freeze it. I think spending the first one here is okay. Doesn't really matter which lane. It does buff this again, so we have the freeze environment to play in case he's stupid and just plays Astrocado in three. Um, that is gonna get goaded, but th that'll happen eventually. We'll just teleport in the other one next turn. This is fine. There's that. I think we do this. Yeah, it it does. It also opens up a lane. I, mean, I guess I could have played it next turn, but mm, is it good to deny the ramp there? This is the Brainana turn. Brainana's kind of sad here, though. Brainana doesn't really do anything. We're just going to chip. I almost want to just play this, but then we don't have room for the Viking if he doesn't play Brainana. You know what? If we play this and he plays Brainana, he has to play Cobb Cannon, right? I know this is weird. But this is enough chip damage to justify. If he plays Cobb Cannon and removes something, that's when we teleport Viking. We still got the extra brain. So it is going to be Cobb Cannon. And we're just going to win. We just straight up win. He'll kill this, I guess. And, yep. Viking absolutely demolishes him. I no regrets. Teleport. It's exactly lethal. It's exactly guaranteed lethal. Holy crap. I almost thought the Vikings were not good enough, but... God damn, man. Perfect card. Drains his block meter. Setting up goat for the win. Get wrecked by your own goat rose. Absolute humiliation. <laughs> Got him. And that's how you gigantic his mustache decks go. We'll try to do the glitch soon. We'll pull it off. Yes. So far, so good. So good. Ah. <sighs> Giambach a hero pack? I, I don't think so. I think you should really just spend on premium packs. Unless you think you're only going to play one hero for the rest of your PBZ heroes experience, you know? They're, it's such a ripoff to buy the, the 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 hero packs and the premium and the, you know, the specific hero packs, whichever one you're talking about. Either to get the hero or to give you all cards for one hero. It just ends up, you end up spending like twice as many gems. For the same amount of cards. Alright. So, Backyard Balance ain't a bad card against Rose. It typically runs a lot of Lake Amateur. a bonus. 
Probably don't need two imposters. There's Cowboy. There's Wax. Oh, alright. If we get HG Super, we can do some stupid plays, is what I was gonna say. Yeah, HG Super it is. I think we'll play everything in lanes 1, 2, and 3, so the Cowboy can at least go in 4 and get the value there. Uh, if we happen to get Graveyard, then I'm going for turn 3 Graveyard, but... Other than that... La -dee -da -dee -da. How long is each stream? So they total about an hour and a half, cut down to an hour video. This is interesting. Is there a reason to do some stupid ramp stuff here? We're well, anyway got turn three, cowboy. I'm definitely not. This actually gives us a, an extra bonus attack here. I have to play around Godify. I could actually just play turn three cowboy, but no, nah, I don't want the I don't want the cowboy getting the one being the one getting goaded here. So we'll either set up Nebula or whatever bonus. The duck stash, in case he has exactly freeze as a superpower. Maybe he'll just play uh Vlog. You never know. This isn't the same rose we just played, eh? We don't play the same guy twice, you you guys know. No, it's a completely different rose. Uh, wow! So the opponent decides to try to use a minion here, so not only does this win the trade, but it gives us an extra card. We're not going to be running out of cards anytime soon, okay? Warlord looks pretty good. Especially because we're just... <laughs> we, have, we have a lot of cards. So, really, really powerful bonus attack. Cool. It would be nice to sort of ramp, but we don't have it. I I'm just, well... Huh. Huh. I guess we're just cowboy, right? How long does it take you to get every card? So, uh, it was unfair because uh, Marrow Barrow back in the day donated a lot of uh, a lot of money for me to buy cards. He wanted to see me play with the whole set. That was back in 2016. But, um, I, I don't know. I think if you grind every quest for a year and you're always hitting Ultimate League, which you can do with budget decks, I, I'm guessing it would take about a year. I don't know for, for a fact, though. Thank you to Dusty Man for two months. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that was turn two. This was turn three. He goaded that, which is fine. But it means we just continue to draw, so the card advantage is still real. We'll see if he gets either Mog or Weed Whack here. Uh, he'll usually, he'll always get something for lane three. <clears throat> if he doesn't play the superpower, it's throwing. They're all good. He didn't want to Mog it, I guess. Okay. I mean, it still lives. It's still drawing his cards. We're never going to run out of steam. I love getting Coffee Zombie. It's like a going viral for this deck. We don't really have anything to do here. Uh, we'll just play Nebula and maybe play, like, Warlord with something. With bonus attack. Actually, Warlord gives us three brains back because it is a mustache. So we could actually play Warlord plus Excavator. We'll see what the opponent does here. I don't really understand why they didn't cut our card draw off. I guess he was saving it for... Like, why not play that? I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> why would you let me draw a card? You're gonna spend it the next turn. Now you also have one fewer brains for this turn, too, which is kind of insane. Uh, we'll save the bonus for later. It does a lot more after we Whirler. This is turn 5 coming up, right? It's rolling really high, but again, there's nothing really to Mog or Freeze here. Yeah, mog the, the mustache wax here. Do it. Doesn't matter at all. So we're gonna Warlord into coffee. Maybe this is a combo I have to explore a little more. The Warlord is so good. It prevents us from shrinking Violet. 
prevents these things from dying to cop can. I mean, we just get value from this literally every single minion we play. We also get three brains back. We can use two of them if we want. The coffee zombie is so good. Should you craft flame face or con man first? I think flame face for a pirate deck is more important than con man. You can always use headstone carp. You don't need con man. Flame face works with every hero. I mean, con man also works with every crazy hero, so. Flame face is also an event. I have no idea what the event cycle is. Is there an actual yearly event cycle? I never paid attention to it. So I have no idea what time of the year uh, it comes up. Bruh. Okay. Um. We can get three. We're almost close to lethal here. I think I'm going to just bonus attack lane one instead of going face more. These two will die. Um, it also means that we gain extra brains for next turn, so we can play like the this plus the coffee zombie. And we really just don't want this starfruit popping off for two turns here, so it gets a lot of value. It's a great, great play. But we're gonna have better. It's imposter coffee for the win, for real. That's gotta be the play, right? Hell yeah. Look at this play, guys. This goes up to 3-3. Three, three. Now it's going to go up to like 4 or 5. Look at this board. And in case he removes something, we can smoke bomb. I mean, it's just... <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. That's crazy. It's too bad Rust Bolt doesn't have any like good one-cost mustaches other than mustache waxer. I'd love to do this deck with, like, Rust Bolt, and you can use that extra one brain after you play your Coffee Zombie or your Warlord just to, like, use a healthy tree. That would be fun. Anyway, guys, we absolutely dominated two games, so, so far, so good. Once again, we're still waiting. I haven't really seen Graveyard yet. I'm waiting to show you guys the how effective Graveyard actually is in this deck. <laughs> Let's see... Come on, where's Graveyard? Let's go! I don't need this. I need... Yes! We have Graveyard! Now we need, uh... Well, we have Imposter. We need Mustache Waxer. Uh, I'm just gonna play this patiently. We'll see what happens. We're just gonna play patiently. The cool thing about passing here is if he plays a Triceratops on the ground... Oh, we have it. Let's go! Okay, now I'm actually going to start doing this. That happened. See, we could just get rid of that environment. Um... I'm gonna do this. I think the we'll be able to get this back in our hand and replay it next turn. Yeah, this is such a good play. I hope we can see the glitch this game. For realsies. Wow, look at these plays. So I'm gonna play Headstone Carver. That gives me a brain, and this will also give me a brain. So I can I can scoop this and replay it. It's crazy. Bruh. So much for that. Dude! Dude! <laughs> so he has it back. Uh, there's... Is there a point in playing Graveyard in 3 here? I guess any minion gets buffed by Headstone Carver, so why not? I, I really want to get the Imposter in, a, in my hand, like the, the mustached unit. I don't know if... He, maybe I'll smoke bomb it just to show you guys the glitch. I'll BM as hard as I can right now to show you guys the glitch this game. I'll throw, I don't care, I'll throw this game. It's all about the glitch. <laughs> what do we get? Backyard bounce? Not a very good draw. Maybe it will be someday. Dude! 
How many of these is he? Okay, well, we bounced one back into his hand, right? Well, this is a really good smoke bomb. <laughs> we don't need to back here bounce that. We'll just chip him away, it's fine. Bonus thing. I like when this goes up to three. Because that really makes the health it gains more impactful. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Should we play around berry blast and actually do this? I'll save the back air bounce. I'll take four, but I'll just bounce this next turn or I'll use this offensively. We might need this to finish the game. Can't believe he is running so many cheap environments. Uncool, bro. Uh, we're almost always gonna back air bounce. This landing. Yeah, I should have held on to my graveyard right? until he played the next lava. Okay, we'll do this. Uh, we could roll lucky here. Oh! Okay, I'll take it! I don't care! <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh, that was fair. Uh, yeah, so we're 3 now with the mustache. She gigantic his mustache deck. Me throwing is gonna throw the vets. Guys, listen, you know it's me playing, okay? I throw for content, it's what I do on a regular basis. It's your fault for voting yes. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, we got imposters. We got cowboy. Uh, this will be fine. Okay. Just play this here so he can't super us. And next turn we can get free teleports. I could teleport this in. It's not a terrible play. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Into the... Oh. There is absolutely no doubt. I know we like this being on ground, but... Oh, I could actually... Well, yeah. We... It's so much value. It's insane value. Look at this. La 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 la. Which one should I do though? Should I do this one first so we can play the environment this turn? I think there we go. That's insane value. Now he does it. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. We need the graveyard. He just gives people a free Thank you, he feels bad. <laughs> exactly. Imagine losing. We can't do the glitch until we get graveyard. Should I just hold this? Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Free teleports. I love free teleports. Blocks the five damage, kind of sad. It's okay. He freezes the one attack guy. Why? What, what, why not the 5-2? This one does 5, this one does 1. He's freezing this one. I don't understand. Whee! Wait, teleport mustache. So we'll have 3 left. I oh, know it doesn't work. I have to spam this. We can teleport this on it, on top. Sorry guys, I got rid of the mustache. We can't do the glitch anymore unless we get another imposter. I don't have a graveyard though! <laughs> Bruh. Dang, how much attack does this have? Jesus. 
We get a bonus attack? Oh, is that good? Wait. I could just go phase here. Five, five, and two basically wins, right? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just gonna do it here. It does give the extra brain, but it doesn't matter. We go in phase, folks. We just go in phase. They'll be down to one health. And we have Teleport Cowboy in our hands. I think we're gonna be good. More mustaches! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Don't California roll. Do no, no, not. God damn it! It's <laughs> okay. We're still fine. This double mint is super scary, but it's okay. <laughs> Why did he freeze the headset cover so it wouldn't draw? It wouldn't draw. Uh, teleport. <laughs> it's clearly the only explanation. It's called wishful thinking. Uh, so the play's backyard bounce on the double min and just bonus attack lane one. Get an extra car, get extra five damage in this turn. I think we're good to go. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> That's why you should never run Snoopy. Watch him grow this one. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Actually, this would be throwing if I actually bounce this lane. It's guaranteed lethal if I do it here. Fine. I'll win the game. La di da. Mustache. I think if you evolve Duck Stash onto Mustache Waxer, it should retain Mustache Waxer's ability. That would be a good buff to the whole Mustache tribe. Any card evolved some one way or another onto Mustache Waxer retains its ability. It's like Inscription. I don't know. Is that like Inscription? Probably. <laughs> Freezing at Snow Garber doesn't make it easier to get rid of. It doesn't. It's 1 3, man. Mm -mm. Doesn't make sense. It's just an emotional misplay. This is why you have to use your, your brain when you're playing this game, not your heart. <laughs> Says the guy who throws for content. Maybe that is using my brain. I'll ask. Alright, we gotta do the glitch, guys. Where? Come on. Alright, I'll, I'll keep this. It's good in about 90% of cases. <laughs> I can play this on turn two, right? La di da di da. So we got four cost Viking. Laser base. Oh, nice. Should I play both of these? There's no real point, right? We'll play laser first. Then we'll play this. Bruh! <laughs> it's a two cost of a laser base. I can't just spam it and then bounce it. That's not how it works. We can play this and backyard bounce this turn. So that's from. awesome. What chaos would that create? I'm definitely not playing around Spike Weed Sector. I have the automatic answer. Yes, the laser base is so good. Holy crumoly. Is that a word? Crumoly. Is that a thing? Not only does it do four, but it kills this huge chunk of coal. Come on, man. Don't get better than that. Oh, this is going well. Uh, I can play this for free. Oh my gosh, I can play Viking Backyard Bounce. This is insane. This is, this is broken. This is busted. Guys, <laughs> this is like taking advantage of huge uh, gigantic is high rolling like so badly when you start adding in cards like Mustache Waxer, man. Shout out again to Krim. He has the one Shamrocket. Lame. It just means this one card lives. It's okay. He doesn't have another thing to play. He's only got one sun. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Should I go face with this? No. We'll, we'll, we'll back air bounce. Way more offensively later. Who knows? Maybe we're all a one. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So he's down to ten. We've got a board he don't. Teleport Cowboy looks awfully good. Uh, If I were to get a mustache, would I play? Maybe if I got like a duck stash. I'd probably play it here. 
Here comes the sun. Especially if there's a good backyard bounce. This is turn five against a solar hero. There's usually a good backyard bounce. Hey, Fry Smiley Face. Living in the six. 58 months. See you there. You shamrock you to that one too. 58 months. Man. Old school living in the six. Oh, gee. Gee, gee. Uh, so we go, face. Wall, not a chunk of Almost always. I call it Kaihunga. We are not the same. <laughs> what? Chunk of gold. This is fine. <laughs> la, 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 la. The... The dude gives us up. Oh, yeah. That'll go. Keep it rolling. Hell, yeah. We get, like, one more mustache. <laughs> Here comes the sun, baby. Here comes the sun. So this will give us two. This will give us two. So it's one, one, and then one backyard bounce. Did I evolve this? I don't think I will. Gotta play this one first. Well, this might make more sense. Uh, we could just play the laser, like in three here. It's pretty good. Haha. <laughs> trying to set it up. The man is too slow. I'll just back air bounce this, I don't care. I'll use the expensive one. And it's garlic. Uh, go face for more damage. Uh... Uh, bye bye. So we'll have four. It doesn't really help. <laughs> I'm gonna have to backyard bounce this eventually. Well, block four. No, we go for lethal, right? We definitely go for lethal. What if he gets healed though? What if he gets super? There's no scenario that we actually get lethal this turn, right? Should I go for a card instead? Is this crazy to do this one? It's pretty crazy. Probably a mistake. Yeah, that one dies. Why do I move back and forth? I don't know, I probably have like ADHD or something. Why am I always moving? I'm also like on a swivel chair, so it's so hard to keep still. Uh, ADHD is kicking in. So he's got seven. It's not enough for heal combo. Which is one of the only things that really save him here. We'll back our bounce, just whatever here. Hopefully he doesn't heal too much. Uh, two catch up mechanics will like lose us the game on the spot. That is usually good, because they only only me three damage. Oh, he's trying to kill this. He's not even going to account for this or for bounce, so I think we just win. It's a very good sign for what's going to come this turn. Healing. La 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 la. Got to be back here at bounce lane two, right? It, it activates seven damage this turn. Legit ridiculous. Oh my god. I hope he doesn't heal too much this turn. Jesus. But now what? Uh, I mean, I have to keep going face, right? If we're ever going to catch up with this damage. It's really sad, though. Fat bouncing that when he's got a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, well, we could win. Based on how the block meter has been behaving today, we'll probably just win this right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. So we're five and zero oh, based on two, two Virginia rolls in, two out of five with bullshit, man. <laughs> I take it. We take those. We definitely take those. That guy was a turn away from just. We know he has Venus Flytrap Planet. He's gonna play Hard to Choke, little buddy. He, he was a turn away from flipping our health down to two and his up back up to twenty. Come on, man. 
All right, we gotta find the glitch. <laughs> so far, so good. Now we need imposter. Oh, now we need graveyard. I don't need headstone card. Overrated card. The bets are already over, so I'm gonna spend. We. Oh no, actually, I did six out of eight. Never mind. The bets are definitely not over. I'm gonna spend the rest of the stream just trying to do the glitch now. <laughs> we were not fortunate. Ooh, I could just spam imposter. That gets us one step closer. We got graveyard. Guys, I'm gonna do it right now. Right now we do win it. Yep, it's guaranteed glitch. Guaranteed glitch. We're not gonna really gain anything from it, but it'll be cool. I'm doing the Ah uh, yeah, it's still fine. We are doing the glitch, you guys. It's happening. It's happening. Bruh. No one cares how much health that has. We're in the middle of doing a glitch. You don't matter anymore. <laughs> Alright, guys, the glitch is happening. It's happening. I do it. Well, should I do it right here? Minion, let's go. Should I do it right here? Should I do it right here? We don't have anything to spend it on, but I gotta do it, right? I have to do it. This is such a bad play, though. This is such a bad play. Okay, I'll just do it. Screw it, I don't care. I'm doing the glitch. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's happening. Uh, Something tells me this going here so we can actually cowboy and win. This is gonna be a good move. Look! I play it, and he gets a... Oh! It got a brain when I played it. Now don't gray bust me. Oh my god. And now he gets another one. It worked. It wasn't a good play, but it worked. Nailed it. Easy. Easy. Uh, is the cowboy even good here next turn? It's legit not good. <laughs> we did the glitch. That was throwing for Kai. Right there, that was throwing. That was just, I, I'm inting. Full inting. All right. Uh, there's no way to actually activate the cowboy here. So I'm going to do this play instead, make the trade, and just freeze. Well, I don't actually have to use the freeze. Okay, now I have to use the freeze. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely using the freeze. Uh, this duck stash actually draws three cards here. <laughs> this is such a good play. This is amazing, actually. That goes up to four. <laughs> this is doing this. It's, it's every time it does damage. It's damaging three things, including his face here. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. We'll, we'll be good for cards for the rest of the game. Wait. It's also going to draw, like, two more next turn. Oh, Bustache Monument, one of the many cards we did not run in this deck, just because we ran out of space. Oh, okay, a finisher, nice. <laughs> so far, so good. So I'm gonna go... Oh, there's so many things we can do here. I mean, I'd love to do this with Viking, obviously. What should we do? We don't have a gravestone. I'm gonna save this combo. I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna spam this needlessly. I probably should not have even played that, right? Well, let's play Cowboy. <laughs> no! This isn't the same guy. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't the same guy with the same wall knight we just played, right? Oh! <gasps> Yes, it is. It's the same Wall Knight. His name was Golfy 7 If you're not a boomer, if you are a boomer. Guys. 007's not a thing anymore. Right, kids? It's the same guy, but we got the glitch. <laughs> I'll just play through. It's fine. We kicked that guy's ass. If he's sniping, he's not doing it very well. Yes? Hit? Yes. Move. Move, glitch! Get out the way. Ye freaking ha. Huh. Oh, do we get coffee here? I should probably try to play graveyard, right? Here comes the sun. No, no, no. 
Coffee's so good, though. I should totally play Graveyard so we don't get completely demolished. Wish I had that Waxer back. That would have been nice. How did I kill my Mustache Waxer? I don't even remember. Hey, I should make a play. Alright, screw it. <laughs> Just threatening his fate so he doesn't concentrate on his lane as much. Nah, I'll count this game. I'll count it even if we lose, it's fine. We got the glitch. It's already a win. Bruh. But that's his big play he was planning on. Jesus, you know? Plus, you're not taking damage this turn. What are you afraid? You're taking four damage and you're just suiting up. Come on, man. So you do two. We lose this trade, but we get we get an extra mustache out of it. It's totally okay. Oh, hi there. I think I'm just gonna go like headstone cover coffee here. Give him a little surprise. <laughs> what if he has like a blockbuster though? Him getting my coffee is kind of harsh. We don't have any dancing cards in our hand, do we? All right, I'm gonna. I'll I'll just see this. It's a surprise, guys. It's a big old surprise party. He'll just put uh. Well, I guess we died to three damage in lane four anyway. Yeah, that's not a great play. The man is still trying to heal though. Don't ask why. Don't ask how. Don't ask why. what the hell. Okay. That didn't do anything though. This goes up to six, by the way, so... <laughs> Idiot. Seven. Eight! Oh my gosh, did we win this trade? <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the coffee zombie! Wait, did we win? Yeah, we win, because he doesn't heal. And we won anyway! <laughs> I love getting coffee zombie from Duckstash in this deck. Putting Frenzy on this stupid deck that always has, like, five guys, man... I gotta make that into a deck somehow with Rust Bolt. I don't know how though. Oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. Alright, well we're 6-0 with Crim Neldi's dumb mustache deck. <laughs> and we did the glitch. And we did the glitch. Wait, I have to write down... Oh no. Oh, I just made a clip. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I accidentally just created a clip. It's probably a clip of... I don't know. I don't care. No one cares. What are you What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, that was game six. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. It's... Oh, okay. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is very fine. This is totally fine. Come on, Graveyard. Oh my gosh. It's reverse cowboy time? Is it actually reverse cowboy time? It is It is the era of the reverse cowboy. Now, I could do all this, but what fun would that be? We gotta pull it off. If you don't know what reverse cowboy is, now, we need this guy to make a play. He's, no, not in this lane. Not in that lane. Wow. Okay. Just because he did that. No, man. Now, I'm really mad. <laughs> yeah, I think we empty our hand this turn. I'm pretty sure that's how this is gonna go. Give him one of these. Give him one of these. <laughs> Rebrain. Oh, we can't play both of these. Well, isn't that a shame? This will give us two more. So we'll just play here. Freeze! Oh no! I'll just move it to this lane. We'll just win this. <laughs> More cards for me to bounce. Great. <laughs> Getting this. We're just gonna mill him. I don't know. Bye 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 black IP. No one liked you anyway. So these guys grow. La -dee -da -dee. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the same play again next turn. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so four, four, and on red day of the office. Uh, 
Um, alright. So, if we play this, we get two back, and we can replay the environment. Looks good to me. He'll probably play around it this time, though. He's not gonna play on turn four into a four or five, right? Right? Right, you guys? Maybe I won't even do it. Maybe I'll just backyard bounce this one one so I can keep going fast. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe this guy's being super lame and I misplay. Maybe that. Yeah, he's playing around it. <laughs> he didn't like it. He didn't like that. Wee dee 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 dee. Wee dee 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 dee. Should we just go graveyard cowboy? That's fun. Should I just backyard bounce this one? Because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, why not? I don't really need the environment here. It's not hitting face. Fry bets. Oh, I'll award the bets. We're already 6 and 0. Congrats to the 62%. I knew this deck was pretty good because I did try it offline, but I didn't really expect 6-0, personally. Um, the backyard bounces have actually been doing pretty well. I guess that one wasn't that good. So, are we able to play this with Aria? No, we're totally not. Still a good play, right? Actually, if I play this, then I can play the Aria. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> Headstone Carver is a gravestone. We get two extra points. Divide and conquer! Did I do the did I do the best? I did it, right? Yeah. Congrats to all the people who believed. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> This guy don't even know. We don't even know what about to hit him. Uh, so he'll be down to one health. Which is totally fine. We. Then we have like a cowboy sitting in the water. And we also have a pretty thick mustache sitting in Frenzy. We've got a lot of stuff going for us here. We have. We'll have lethal in five lanes, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is another one of these huge gigantic decks. I don't know. Yeah, that is like onion rings is basically the worst thing he could have. Nice onion rings deck, bro. Next time, tell someone who cares. Yes, we're seven and zero. <laughs> the unstoppable mustache deck. Guys. Uh, Cream LZ, you made us proud today. What can I say? I'm giving him a lot of shout outs, by the way. First of all, because, I mean, he was the one who showed me the glitch and showed me this deck list, which uh, my deck, if he would have shown me the glitch, my deck would not have looked anything like this. I don't think I would have ran Headstone Carver, which is questionable. Um, but, uh, he's also just someone who comes literally every single day to the stream. So I feel like those people, I gotta, I gotta pump them up every once in a while. You know what I mean? It's kind of ridiculous that people, and I don't have a stable streams code. If you guys are watching on YouTube, you guys have it easy. You pop in whenever, but for the, the hundreds of people here who are regular viewers on the live Twitch streams, that's some commitment that you'll come when I stream at 2 in the afternoon and also like right at 9 9.09 p.m. in Toronto time. That's some devotion right there. Uh, we're going to play this patiently. No, read, no need to spam anything on turn one. I really hope we get a card we can kind of ramp up to using this crazy value here. Even just a duck stash would go a really long way. Really long way. I'll go the mustache, mustache, this, duck stash, freeze this turn. It's crazy. I can also wait a turn and maybe get an early Viking. Probably go for that. I'll probably go end up going for like Viking freeze on turn three, basically. What do we get? Here's oh, I'll, I'll just do this play then. Yeah, this is really strong. Did I kill this uh, click fee? This is turn two, guys. Watch this. It's time to play. Guess what turn it is? That gives me one. Did I screw it up? I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I need to wait one more turn, guys. 
but I'm stupid. My bad. I thought I could play this already, but I'm stupid. I appreciate you guys. I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. I mean, it buffs up the health of these waxers already, so it's not a terrible play. I should have just done all this. I should have literally passed here and done all this next turn. Hello. So annoying. Super annoying. This already has four. I probably should just save this for next turn. Eh? And this just dies for free to second click me. At the other day, though, I'm I'm not taking six damage that I otherwise would have. It would have been down to twelve. This probably is probably just working out for the best here. Are we good? Looks like we had a little glitch there, but I think we're back. Everything good, guys? I think we are okay. It's like my stream just crashed for a minute. Uh, probably freezing this is correct. Freezing this, correct? I think we have to just prevent him from from gaining his momentum. I, honestly, I, I think that that really did end up working out pretty well because we're gonna win the long game because of all these cards the Duck Stash is giving us. Let's play four or five. So okay. Yeah, we might end up playing in the Sham Rocket, but it's okay. If he puts anything with one health on the board right now, that would be quite good. Wow. So we actually take out the... That's a really weird use of time to shine. I don't really like it. You're definitely drawing this turn. That's a good Trapper territory, though. We win that trade. As long as it doesn't block. I'd really hate it if he rolled a 3 here. It's just 5 damage and a card. And this wouldn't die. So that worked out really well. Chunga Chunga Chungus. Chungus boy. <clears throat> uh, huge Gigantica super. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now we get to teleport in the Viking. That's way better. That's a million times better. Oh my gosh. This man, he dead. As long as he didn't get Brainana just now, we are going to absolutely destroy this guy right now. I almost hope he shamrockets here, he'll lose. He'll lose on the spot to just buffing Viking. There's so many good plays here, man. <laughs> uh, him blocking these is really not a bad thing at all. Teleport! Teleport! Is there any re world where we don't play Viking here? I don't think so. Did I graveyard? We can't make it do strike through and seven, unfortunately. I think we'll just graveyard here. Kind of a free graveyard. So, it's another card. If we roll one, we win. Otherwise, he'll be down to two health. He might get root wall here, who cares? Rumble, who cares? He'll be down to two, essentially. He gets root well. It's okay. He's gonna need a miracle to survive this turn, because we're gonna have several strike through minions. Is there any dancing that we could do? We keep getting this, but never get dancing. Ah, so this three adds a lot. Um, is it worth it to... To try to go for a bounce here. What would save him? I think the cowboy is always correct, right? It's just one. Block that lane. 
And then with the graveyard cowboy. Maybe that cowboy should have gone in one because a 3 5 is really impossible for him to deal with, but this can get grave busted. I think we're okay. Now he's got three. He would need Grave Buster plus a one drop that doesn't die to Trapper territory. It's a big ask. A big ask. It's a big ask, guys. But he used his time to shine. This just isn't scary because he used his time to shine already, man. That probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. He didn't get the brain. Well, Brennan yeah, didn't help there. Right, the people in the chat are talking about maybe we can end the stream with some theories of why the must why the mustache graveyard glitch works. I'm guessing it's something very specific in the code of the imposter summon that gets that extra goofy mustache. It's just locally some glitch in the code there. Because there's so many other things that have a when played ability. Like for example, if you have a headhunter on the field, this card we have in our hand, then whenever you play a dancing card. It will uh, do two damage to your opponent's face. Do you think that works also with Graveyard? Listen, prove me wrong. Test it at home and prove me wrong. But I don't think that it's going to activate both when played and then when it pops out. I think it's just something specific about that mustache that has a glitch in the code. I feel like I would definitely know this glitch somewhere else with Graveyard. There's so many things that are when. What else is when played? Like, uh... It, honestly, the, the glitch doesn't work with the imposter itself. Like, if you have just Mustache Waxer on the field and you put imposter into Graveyard, it only activates one. The only mustache it works with is that little goofy mustache. I rest my case, guys. Anyway, <laughs> this deck went ain't enough. I mean, it's good. It, it, uh, it's, it's weird. It's basically a high roll, huge gigantic Graveyard Cowboy deck with a lot of very cool combos. The Vikings are actually good. I was thinking of taking out the Vikings, but... I don't think the Headstone Carvers did enough. There was, a, you know, that one play with the Coffee Zombie that it was good. It's also nice having cheap mustaches, but maybe there's some way to replace that. Once you start trimming out, you know, carts, all the Headstone Carvers, all of a sudden, Mustache Waxer doesn't actually have a lot of cards to buff. Maybe Drone Engineer? But then Headstone Carver becomes good. So maybe the keys to really make it into a Gravestone deck? I don't know. Anyway, guys, we went A to no. That was amazing. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Hell yeah, let's go again, YouTube. Peace. This is Fry.